If you're playing Barbarian at the start of Season 1 and you're struggling on a leveling build, then I have it for you today. We have a bleed build that focuses on using Rupture in your leveling process along with Ren. This build is incredibly fast, it's incredibly strong, and the bleed damage is actually quite overpowered us considering that the Barbarian is by far the worst class in Season 1. So, today I'm going to go over my build and what I was using to help level up, as well as how to play it and everything, all the gear pieces that you need for the build. Let's get right into it. What's up guys, War here. So today I'm bringing you guys a really nice rend into rupture build the big reason that i kind of fell upon this thanks a big shout out to my community for this and this is actually a really really strong leveling build the big reason why we have this here is because in the patch notes that they released a few days before season one started is that uh rupture enhanced ruptures damage increased the attack speed increased and the healing from it also increased. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, hamstring got nerfed and so did cut to the bone. But still, a 15% times multiplier on vulnerable damage is actually still really, really strong. And then considering once you get into the end game, you can do crimson bleeding, which is even more damage is what we have here in our thing here. But we're, you know, we have this item, the Fields of Crimson, but we're not going to use this for leveling. Uh, we also don't have this. You don't need the Rage of Hargoth because you're not going to have it in World Tier 2. So in this piece that we're going to go over later, you're going to put Might in there. But that's for later in the video. So Rend and Bleed. Flay is awesome. You're popping all three shouts. You're going to be incredibly fast. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. So I, I've done some leveling builds in the past, and they've actually been really, really good. So we're going to go over them uh, briefly and just kind of talk about what you need for the build. So let's do this now. I'm going to take those points out of there because we're not actually using those. But I am going to be taking the, uh, the damage reduction here, which is really important. And we're also going to take the vulnerability. So here is how the build works, guys, and everything that you're going to need. So when it comes to playing the build, you're going to need Flay. This is a bleed build, okay? We are starting off with Flay into Enhanced Flay to have the chance for them to become vulnerable. You double this chance if you're using a two-handed weapon. This build is always going to be using a sword. I recommend. Okay, then we're going to go down into our core skills here. We're going to be taking Rend. Rend is going to be our big damage dealer initially. It's going to be our main one until we get Rupture later on. But five points into Rend, into uh, Furious Rend. Dealing direct damage with Ren grants four Fury per enemy hit. So the more enemies that are around, the more Fury that we generate, and the more uh, Ren swings that we can actually do. Then, of course, what you guys just saw me do is we're taking three points into Pressure Point. We're going to have this to have our chance to make stuff even vulnerable. Later on into the end game, it'll be different. You're going to take points out of this for Berserk, Berserker, but we won't need that now. Then, of course, what is a Barbarian build without the Shouts? Okay, of course, we're taking Rallying Shout into Tactical Rallying Shout for the Fury Generation and Resource Gen. Then we're also taking Challenging Shout into Tactical for the uh, Fury every time we get hit. Then we're going to come down to our Brawling Skills and we're going to take War Cry into Mighty War Cry for the Fortify because we really need that. However, if you feel like you want to take more damage, you could do Power War Cry, but the Fortify is very important here. Next, we're taking Booming Voice, all three to have Shout, shout Duration. And then we're taking Ray Leader for a little bit of heal. Also, we're going to take 1.2 Aggressive Resistance for damage reduction while, while berserking. This is going to affect us later, but we're also going to have Prolific, prolific Fury. While we're berserking, we're going to have uh, increased um, resource generation or Fury generation. Then we're going to come down. We're taking three points into Pit Fighter for more damage. Then our second big damage dealer, we're taking all five points into Rupture. Okay, Rupture all the way up into Warrior's Rupture. Hitting enemies with Rupture increases your attack speed. So as we're doing big mobs and we're cutting them, we hit Rupture. Then we're going to be able to swing with Ren nonstop. It's going to be awesome. Then, of course, even though the small nerfs, we're still taking Hamstring. And then we're taking three points into Cut the Bone for even more bleed damage against vulnerable enemies. Next, after that, we're taking Thick Skin for a little more Fortify. As well as Counter Offensive for more damage once we're fortified over 50%. Which should actually be pretty easy to accomplish. Then we're going to come down to our ultimate skills and we're taking three points into heavy handed. So we get even more crit strike damage while we're using two handed weapon. We're always going to be using a sword. Now into the skills here, you're going to end up taking three points out of pressure point. Okay. You're going to end up taking it into wrath of the berserker to trigger all of our berserking effects. 
However, there is one legendary that I am missing for the build. So let's go over all the gear and everything that you're going to need. So starting off, you're gonna have Relentless Berserker's Helm. You can change these and change the priority of these, but well, oh, they're fighting, they're fighting. Oh my God, leave me alone. So you're gonna change the order of these, but that's okay, let's play this guy up. Bleed, you're just dead. So you're going to need Relentless Berserker. You can change the, the order of these. This is just where I got them, so I didn't want to change them and pull them out. But Lucky Hit, damage an enemy with a core skill, has a chance to extend Berserking by two seconds. This is really good on a crit strike. It doubles. In our chest piece, like I said, you're not going to have Rage of Harkoth during the leveling process. So what you're going to put in instead is Might. Basic skills give you damage reduction. Let's kill these little... These little we'll bleed them to death. Super easy. So you're going to take Might in your chest piece. In the gloves, I have accelerating, so crit strikes with core skills increase attack speed even more. In our pants, we got disobedience. Even though it was nerfed, disobedience with the extra armor is still really good. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. This is good for the video. You can see how strong bleed is. In our boots, we are taking weapon master. This is probably one that you're going to want to put into a two-hand. However, I just happened to get it, and the boots were really solid. So your weapon mastery skills have an additional charge. That is our rupture. Okay, and damaging an enemy on a lucky hit with weapon mastery skills has a chance to stun them. We're going to be doing a lot of stunning, but that's not really necessary. We just need it for the extra uh, charge here to be able to use that twice because that's a huge damage dealer. In our weapon, we have Hammer of Encroaching Wrath. After spending 100 Fury, which is really easy in this build, our weapon mastery skill does increase damage 192%, which is going to be our Rupture. Our Rupture is very, very strong against elites and super, super strong against bosses, okay? So I advise, I advise saving that. However, in big groups of or big packs of moms, definitely hit out one Rupture, get that increased attack speed. Once that kind of dies off, hit another Rupture to keep your attack speed up. In our other hand, we have, this is just kind of an extra one. We don't necessarily need this one. However, what we, we would put in is maybe another power. Um, I'm not really sure what else I would put here. Maybe Aspect of the Protector, but... In this case, this one is, is irrelevant at the moment. Uh, in our next one, we have Conceited for a barrier. Maybe if you happen to get the um, get some pants or one way to, to give you a barrier, you don't necessarily need both of these. Next, we're doing Edge Masters. This is really, really good, especially when we have a uh, rupture. Once we fill this up and we do a mad rupture, we're going to do even more damage. Then in our rings, we're always taking Bold Chieftains for the shout cooldown. And then this is where, or excuse me, not, not the shot cooldown, cooldown. Next, we're taking Slacking Circle. You have a chance to gain 20 Fury when Ren deals direct damage to at least one bleeding enemy. Everything is going to be bleeding. It's going to be super easy to accomplish. Next in our amulet, I am taking um, Rapid just for the increased attack speed to keep our Fury up at all time. Now, the one item, I have Bold Chieftains here, which really helps, but the main... Uh, power that you're going to want to get here this build doesn't require but you do definitely want it is aspect of berserk fury you can get three to six fury every single second that you are berserking okay so that's the gear that you need for the build guys for leveling this build is super super strong how it works is you just pop your shouts you flay rend up everything rupture on big crowds and elites and against mobs or bosses and dungeons and the build moves really really fast as you guys saw in the gameplay it's just super, super satisfying into play. And with all the buffs, it's actually really underrated in what I think. And considering, like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, how Barbarian is by far the worst class in Season 1, this is actually a very, very strong leveling build, especially if you're a solo player or in groups. It really, really helps do some nice crowd control. Now, I do want to make a big note here that at Blizzard's yesterday's campfire talk, where they are going to be buffing the Barbarian here in a couple weeks, um, that's going to be really, really nice. But until then, during your leveling process, guys, I really recommend doing Bleed. Now, you guys are going to ask me, well, what about all your different skills here for the Berserking if you're not actually running Wrath of the Berserker? At this time, we have no other way to really give us Berserking. We just have Unstoppable. However, what you can end up doing is just take the three points out of here and then you're going to have to drop a skill or you drop a shout. So what I would recommend is keep the points in here for pressure point. I would drop challenging shout, okay? This is the one I would drop. And I would take challenging shout out and I would put in Wrath of the Berserker and just take the slot and keep flay. And then everything else stays the same, okay? 
I have been going back and forth of this because I need to maintain Fury because I'm starting to get into the end game in World Tier 3. But that's what I would do. I would take the tactical shot out and I would just put Wrath of the Berserker in and put it right here or in the fourth slot and then you're good to go. So it would look something like this. You would just take these points out. Right, you'd go grab max out Berserker. Right, then we're gonna, yep, goes right in the slot. You can mix these around and then the build is really, really strong because these are your two main shouts, right? We want the Berserking. We also get Berserking from War Cry, but it's only for four seconds. And then of course we have Rallying Cry here for the Unstoppable. You have to have those two. Uh, and then in our key passive guys, we're gonna be taking Gushing Wounds because when you cause an enemy to bleed, you have a chance uh, to equal your crit strike chance to increase your bleed amount. Uh, of your crit strike damage bonus and then overpowering a bleeding enemy creates an explosion that's not really what we're looking to do is overpower we just need it for the extra damage okay so this right here is actually super super strong that's what i would advise because then you have both war cry and wrath of the berserker to keep you berserking um if you really didn't feel like you wanted to do gushing wounds you could always come over here and do unconstrained to keep your berserking up that is also a very very strong option especially during the loving process as soon as you get that because then what it allows you to do is, is it takes your war cry and instead of berserking for four seconds you berserk even longer okay and then same thing with wrath of the berserker you berserk even longer so guys that is my barbarian bleed leveling build and you could definitely take this right into the end game i will have a building down in the description below for you guys for all you bar mains that are suffering like i am during this season make sure to like the video comment down below what do you guys think about the build and subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace